Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and today we've got a brand new video where we're gonna look at, uh, you know, how good was 2022 really in terms of the EDM dance chart? So we're gonna be looking at specifically the Billboard top 10 dance slash electronic songs of 2022, putting them in a neat little tier list and seeing how they were. Just looking back at the songs. Uh, I'm, I'm also, doing this was a, is a fun little thing. If you don't follow the charts to kind of see what really was the top of the charts of each year. So very fascinating. And uh, so uh, without any further ado, let's hop into it. We're just gonna do the top 10, look at the top 10. And um, you know, Tumblr 10 starts off great. Uh, it's Moth to a Flame by uh, Swedish House Mafia and The Weeknd. Um, absolutely iconic track here. I uh, led the kind of comeback tour of Swedish House Mafia. The Weeknd absolutely killed the vocals. It was, it, it, this is really EDM done well. It is EDM in a commercial sense done well. Um, you'll find lots of times on these lists, it's, it's a big producer with a big vocalist name. And so it's a bit, there's two big names there. You get the vocalist for the kind of reach, the commercial reach, and then the producer for the actual kind of of EDM dance beat or electronic dance beat. So this one for me, uh, easy S. We're literally starting off, uh, this is gonna be a series of videos coming out and we're literally gonna start off with S. Uh, I, I, I think this is an absolutely iconic track that uh, deserves to be here, so. Uh, let's see, number nine was uh, When I'm Gone by Alesso and Katy Perry. Uh, this one for me was a bit of a basic slap house track. Uh, Alesso's production and Katie's vocals um, were definitely going to be, like I said before, they're definitely going to be a chart, a charting track. Um, this is one where it felt like even without the song being good or bad, just based off of the names here, this was going to be up there. And it's not even just a Katy Perry feature. It's technically also Katy Perry. Um, like it's not Alesso featuring Katy Perry. It's Alesso and Katy Perry, which, yeah, you know, I... I didn't love it for its production, but uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna put it in C for now. C, I think is where that lands. So let's do C. Let's see, the number eight song of the year was uh, Hold Me Closer by Elton John and Britney Spears. Uh, this one was a little more interesting. Uh, Elton John, and yes, is in the more dance area. You'll see a lot more other artists here because it's uh, it's dance is included. And uh, yeah, fascinating one. Uh, it's more of a like kind of a bass heavier track, which I didn't really expect from these two. Um, and this is also sort of on the comeback tour of Britney Spears after all of that weird um, conservative conservative. What's the what's the word conservatory? I don't know, I'm not sure the name, but she kind of did like a mini comeback here where she's been on a couple more tracks and she'd been kind of away from the limelight for a long time. Uh, conservatorship. I think that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, but yeah, not really a ton. And Britney Spears really isn't on this track a whole lot. So I think she's really on this just for the, 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 the name, I would say. It feels another kind of meh track. I think, I think it's just C. It's not necessarily bad. It just feels meh. Oh, oh gosh, at number seven was uh, was I'm Good, uh, Blue, with uh, David Guetta and BB Rexa. I did an original reaction to this and... Um, Wow, this tier list is really going to have it all. Uh, just, I mean, I'm, you know where it's going to go, but it is horrible. Uh, it ruined an already iconic dance song. Uh, it, just an absolute classic in the original by Eiffel 65. Uh, one of the songs actually got me into this kind of weird electronic sound uh, was this track in particular. But uh, yeah, the synths are just weak. The vocals are cringe. Um, easy F. Easy F. Uh, then we got <laughs> Do It To It uh, by A Craze featuring Cherish. Uh, I honestly forgot about the song until I was doing the research for this video again. And I was like, oh, that's the name of the song. I couldn't remember the name of it. Like, I, I know the sound, uh, but I was like, oh, okay. It's, uh, you know, it's just boring though in the end. Uh, the lyrics don't really make sense and yet they're unintelligible at the same time. Uh, maybe with a turn on the second or even added a third drop to make something a little bit more interesting. It's just a... It's just a nothing burger that's not great. Uh, so this one's gonna go, let's go E. It's gonna be an E tier, so. Uh, and at number five, uh, we got Marshmallow uh, and Khalid with Num. Wanna get numb, numb. Uh, definitely not uh, one of Marshmallow's worst, but definitely not his best. That's for sure. Uh, the kind of lax production with the fairly phoned in vocals from Khalid here. I know, I know Khalid to do a lot better than this. Um, it just felt like, uh, yeah, again, just a, a lot of a nothing for Marshmallow here that felt like it could have been a little bit better. Um, I, I do appreciate the kind of bright summer vibes to it, but in the end, I think we're going to go D tier. D tier. And then we've got the motto by Tiesto and Ava Max. 
Uh, you know, one of Tiesto's best tracks in a while, I would say. Personally, I, I feel like every once in a while, his stuff is pretty linear, pretty there, like pretty just meh. And then he gets an odd track here or there each year that kind of pops off. And I'm glad this one did. Uh, this one was, was pretty solid. I, I like the vocals a lot from Ava Max here, um, albeit it's a little bit more casual and cheesiness that you kind of get with the kind of dance record um, or dance single. But uh, yeah, deep bass line and it's uh, well produced. So uh, let's put this one in B. B, Tiesto, the motto. Uh, then we got uh, Papas. Uh, I'm not sure to say this correctly, but uh, by Faruko. Uh, Papas? Pepas? Uh, yeah, this is a... <laughs> I feel like every year there's just one big reggaeton song, and that was it this year. That was this one. Uh, definitely has more life to it than I would say than most kind of reggaeton or in that genre. Um, I obviously don't really know what they're saying, um, and I just feel like, I don't know, looking the lyrics up, I make sense, but just uh, the translation is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, sound-wise, production-wise, this one is this one's the one of the more palatable, one of the more easily listenable and kind of enjoyable uh, tracks. So uh, we're gonna put this one in C. Uh, up next, we got "Break My Soul" uh, with Beyonce. You know, Beyonce had an absolutely stellar year breaking into the kind of dance scene, um, and it was all kind of centered around this one track. I would say in particular, this was the kind of teaser. Um, it's it's a yeah, just such a great shift into this more dancey house sound. And uh, this is a really true club house track. And uh, it's got that poppy structure to it still, but it's just, it's great. It's good. Um, but is it as good as Penis House Mafia? No. So we're going to put it in A. Uh, <laughs> we're going to put it in A. So a great track, but just not enough for me personally. Uh, and then we've got Elton John again, uh, sort of. We've got the Cold Heart Now remix with Elton John and Dua Lipa, or by Elton John and Dua Lipa. Uh, again, Elton John, another track here in the uh, hit the Billboard Top 10 in 2022. Uh, very simplistic groove and track here, which is kind of the what you get from Pnow when they're going for the more commercialized sound, I would say. Uh, I, I personally am a big fan of Pnow and uh, have been following them pretty closely for, I think, up to six, seven years now. Um, they're an artist I feel like a lot of people don't really know about and so I heard this track and, and really did enjoy it but didn't feel like it did it too much but I, I felt like the quality was good but nothing I think I really returned to I put added it in a few playlists I think here and there but uh yeah this one B we're gonna go B tier but yeah that was the number one song of the year uh on the charts billboard top 10 uh but uh, yeah uh let me know what you guys think of these tracks did uh, this tier list was a good was a bad what do you think anything should have moved and um I'm excited to see what the next years bring uh because this is gonna be fun I, I hope you enjoy this kind of style of video but other than that I'm Bowtie Media and I will see you guys in another video